Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. Today, I'm happy to announce that Microsoft has created a sentient form of Clippy who might, with the help of GPT-3 and some open AI work, might be able to give you tips to get Windows to work when it breaks constantly. Um, not really, but uh, yeah, so Microsoft has officially said that they're gonna use Dolly 2 in a few services they're releasing. So one of these is called Microsoft Designer which is intended to be rolled out as part of Microsoft Office 365 subscriptions. And there's also a tool that they're rolling out on Bing and in the Edge browser um, called Image Creator, which is probably going to be a more neutered, um, freely available version for this. And I say neutered because it's clear in a lot of what Microsoft has released and what they've clearly told a lot of the publications working on this to do that they are deathly concerned of the implications of what people would do with this, um, with, whether it has to do with what the White House has said, whether it has to do with people making deep fakes, um, they're clearly kind of concerned. But um, their impetus with this is they've been working with OpenAI for over two years. They're publicly um, OpenAI's exclusive cloud services provider. And that makes sense for a lot of reasons. Um, it's a good marketing play. In theory, they could containerize or kind of make these um, pluggable pieces. So if someone wanted to deploy their own private DALI, they could say, yeah, go do it on Microsoft hardware. Uh, would I want to be a developer having to work with um, the garbage that is uh, Azure, regardless of if it's running Windows or Linux? Um, definitely not. But uh, the people at OpenAI are smart, so they probably just hired people to do that. So um, this tool, I mean, if you've used DALI, too, uh, there's not really a lot going on here that's new. It's just kind of a new packaging for this. Um, probably with a little bit of Microsoft AI smoothing out um, gentle ways to prevent people from abusing this and creating more on-ramps for Canva-esque content. So, you know, things like posters or PowerPoints or things that you'd want to use uh, clip art for conventionally they're probably, you know, that, that's their, their whole goal here. And this isn't the first thing Microsoft has integrated into a product from OpenAI. Um, GitHub Copilot is a great example of something that is leveraging a lot of uh, natural language stuff from OpenAI. And really, I mean, in terms of what's going on here, that's, that's it. it. This was just announced at uh, the Ignite conference, but there really wasn't a lot of other exciting stuff that happened there, uh, at least in terms of AI. And yeah, so why don't we go look at the site that they've launched. So there's a sign up list. You can sign up to be put on a list for early access. And let me open the link here. So it's pretty polished. You know, it's a Microsoft product. They, they have a goofy icon for this. So yeah, basically this is just supposed to be a very polished um, gated approach to open AI. Um, I, I don't think they expect this to make perfect, like that's a graphic I would not expect to come out of uh, even a really tuned Dolly at this point. Um, 3D motion graphic, I mean, maybe we'll get there in time, but I don't really see this being there anytime too soon. So yeah, their whole approach here is you can be less creative and uh, do less work. Maybe they're targeting realtors here. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think they'll likely be applying some filters like we've seen with some of these other clip art services that pretty much try to gate and improve generally the output that you get without having to tune or play around with it too much. There's going to be a convolution or like an evolve button which fortunately anyone doing this sort of seriously has figured out that's what people want because people don't want to come up with new prompts. They just want to mix up what they're doing in a direction that based on your previous prompts, you might want to go. That, that's what the advanced evolve um, bits are doing. Uh, and it's also image to image, right? Because you're, you're using the previous image and taking context from there and creating output that they think you'd want to put in a Microsoft doc. So um, will I be buying this? No, because I, I've proudly since I changed my major from computer engineering to computer science. Um, ever since, well, the mid 2010s, I have proudly uh, never given Microsoft money since then. 
So other than maybe for like one Windows license. But uh, so I will not be buying this. Uh, you will be able to use this. Uh, not I, I don't. They haven't really released how many images they're going to allow you to do. I don't think it's unlimited. But if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription or a family subscription, this will be included as a standalone designer app. And there is a free tier of the image creator in Bing, which I don't think is released yet. But yeah, um, Clippy is not uh, sentient yet. Unfortunately, if he was, maybe he'd be able to help you understand why Windows breaks so much. But um, our tool to automatically sign up for AI tools is almost done. Um, email us if you want to be added to the waitlist for that. Um, basically, what that would do is we, it would automatically sign you up for this as soon as we see it. So no, no reason to have to dig through this, have to find this video on YouTube and sign up yourself. So email us if that sounds interesting. We're also looking for some engineers to start working with us on some content creation related projects that are uh, AI heavy to an extent, but um, some cool things you want to start working on as part of this channel. And yeah, as always, I hope you learned something and let us know if you'd like us to change anything with the way we're making content. Cheers.